Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we're doing it right now. It's gonna be our first kayak trip of 2022. Uh, and first trip on the brand new kayak. So I don't know if it's gonna become like a kayak, you know, intro video or preview or review, whatever this is gonna be for this. But uh, the real goal is to try and catch something, anything. Uh, the main target is striped bass, of course, and if we do catch anything, it's probably going to be that. But uh, we're going out a little bit away from home, and we're going to give it a shot. I don't know what we're going to encounter in terms of crowds or even fish, but I'm just happy to get on the water. So I'll catch you back when we get there. Uh, stay tuned. You know what we're about to do, so you better believe it's true. Get some fishing accomplished. See you soon. Okay, here we are. First time out in the water on the 2022 Hobie Outback. First maiden voyage. Definitely a bit different than the last couple kayaks I've been in. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of adjusting. Feel much higher on this kayak than the last one, but uh, it's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna get a feel for this and uh, we're gonna see if we can find some fish. So, got this five and a half inch Elias Shad in white. Maybe do a combo of trolling and jigging and casting. If we find fish, we'll slow things down, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a little bit and uh, if something happens, we'll come right back. I think, I think we're marking some fish here, so this is worth some cast. About 10, 11 feet of water. Let's see what's around. Right along, a drop off. We're on, we're on. Hell yeah, I knew there had to be something here. Feels good. Hell yeah, getting the skunk out of the boat early. Skunk is out of the boat if we can get him. Good fish. Whew. I haven't got a look at him yet. This could be a nice one. <sighs> Definitely a nice fish, unless he's foul hooked or something. Yeah, he's a little weird hooked, that's why. No wonder, but still, we're happy. We came here for fish and we got one. For a second there, I thought I might've had something really big, but he's barely hooked too. not good. My fingers are not ready to deal with that line. Come on, let's make this quick. All right. Thick. That might go like 28, but we're not keeping anything. Oh, 
nice little, probably just below slot fish thereabouts. Let's get him back. Boom. That's how you start a, a first kayak session, folks. Okay, skunk is out of the boat. First round, first go, we got a fish. So let's see if we can only go up from here. Uh, that fish pulled us into some deeper water, so let's get right back to where we were, right along a drop off. And let's see if we can get something equally, if not bigger. Round two. Got that fish on the Elias Shad, seven inch, two ounce jig head. And yeah, so gotta be some more around. I don't expect too much, anything too much bigger than that today, but who knows? Who knows? on number two this one's much smaller but hey i'll take it much smaller but hey we're catching fish and that's what we came here for little baby little little schoolie This is the size we're getting them. We might downsize to our lighter setup, but yeah, down with that. Number two in the boat. Stay on them while the bite's good. Here we go. Better fish. Not that big, but better than the last one. Yeah. Jeez. Quick release. I'm cool with that. Back out we go. And there should be something bigger here. A lot of fish in the water over here. So we can get another one. Oh yeah, we're lighting up right now. It's like Christmas on this fish finder. There he is, what I tell you, they're everywhere. This feels all right. Feels quite all right. Oh, no, that felt good. Dang. Let's try again. Felt like a nice fish. All right, we just were on some fish. We repositioned, Let's see if we're back on them. They're moving around, so you're on them one second and they move, but they're all kind of right on the edge of this channel, so. If I wanted to really get into them, I'm sure I can go deeper into the river, but there's quite a crowd there, so let's keep to ourselves right now. Got him. Not a big one. Let's just try and hold on to this fish, though. Ooh. 
little, little guy. Of all the ones we land, it's gonna be the tiniest one that can barely even take the hook. He's not that tiny, though. Quick and quick. Let's get you bigger. Just got another little guy. Probably the smallest fish I've hooked, and I've lost all the good ones, but or didn't get them on footage, but that's just the way it is sometimes. I'm sure that footage turned out great though. Oh no. Dang it. By some strange accident my leader snapped and I had a bite but it looks like there's a ton of fish over here so hopefully uh this just puts me on a new pot of nice fish that was a bummer though okay I just switched Elias shads I'm out of five inch or five and a half inch but I got plenty of sevens uh, so it's, these fish are big enough they should be able to take it there's a ton of fish right here. Got them. They're definitely here. Hopefully they're still biting. Because we blew it last time. And we had our opportunity. There he is. That feels all right. Not huge, but sure. That's a nice one. It's one of the better ones that we've got hooked into. We've gotten up to the boat. Oh, that one will go slot size. Shaky, shaky. <laughs> yeah, that's a slot fish. <sighs> nice fish. <sighs> Very nice. Okay, just got our first definite slot size fish, like 28 to 30 incher, thereabouts. And I'm sure there's some bigger ones in there too, like a couple of the ones that we've lost. Uh, really had some nice weight to them but we'll never know unless we get them in the boat or at least up to the boat so enough talking back to the fishing got him little guy I think, yeah, he's not big. Oh, don't wrap yourself up. Come on. Let's get you in and back out. fish so I've kind of hinted that I had some issues throughout this session um, particularly at the GoPro I wasn't ne necessarily managing the batteries as well as I could have uh, and I had some other difficulties as well um, I did lose a few fish and you might even hear it in my reel it definitely needs a little bit of a service um, something happened I went fishing in Cancun over break and this reel started to get a little sticky but I haven't had time to deal with it. Uh, I will at some point, probably. But anyways, the biggest icing on the cake in a bad way happened not too long after that last fish. And uh, why well, tell you when you can just see it? Not necessarily necessarily how I wanted to go out, but whatever. I had a good run while it lasted, so here we go. Well, talk about a crummy ending. My chain to my Mirage Drive snapped, so that's a wrap for today, uh, I guess. Well, at least we got on some fish, so... 
whatever uh we'll make our way back in i have another functioning mirage drive but it's at home i didn't want to leave in the car but uh i don't want to get blown offshore so it's time to go pedal in uh whatever Whew. okay that's gonna have to do it folks uh definitely not the way i wanted to finish today's session but hey at least we got on the water chris in the new kayak and the issue was with the mirage drive and not the kayak so uh i can't really give a legitimate review because i'm not sure about the performance um I'd have to like get a go through the motions a little bit, but let me know if you want to see like an actual legit review of this kayak because I definitely have some at least initial takeaways of this one versus my other Hobie and the one that I use uh, I borrowed for basically last summer. But overall, I think we can definitely do some nice uh, work on this, and I'm happy to get fished the very first time I took it out. So we're back on the kayak, we're back in action. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you in the water next time. Goodbye from fishing.